In this video, you will learn about Avask company, what services they provide and how can they help for you as an Amazon seller. And uh, also that Tom from Avask, our guest, he will share how you could look for the company like theirs, which could help with the uh, monthly uh, bookkeeping, with taxes worldwide, with uh, VAT filings and other things. So enjoy this video. And if you need help with taxes, contact Va Avask. You will find links below. And the host of this video is Lisa at least. She works with different Amazon brands. And now don't forget before we watch uh, to subscribe and click the notification bell because here we talk with different Amazon experts and software creators. Hello Tom, it's great to have you here. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us uh, how do you help Amazon sellers? Yes, hello, thank you so much for having me. It's great to be on here. Um, so my name's Tom, I manage the international business development team at Avask Accounting. Uh, so who are Avask? Well, we're a firm of international chartered accountants um, and indirect tax experts. So, I mean, ultimately we're assisting um, tens of thousands of, of e-commerce sellers that are looking to expand their businesses into new marketplaces. And we help them with their tax registration and filing, but also sort of the accountancy, bookkeeping, all of the things that no one really likes to do on the tax side is where we come in. Awesome. So you help Amazon sellers as well on a daily basis. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, the majority of our portfolio is, is uh, e-commerce, but certainly Amazon is the, the majority. Um, so, yeah, we've got a great relationship with Amazon. We've been working with them for uh, almost seven or over seven years now. Um, and um, I've been involved in many promotions with them and, and still are, which is great. Um, so yeah, great understanding for Amazon, great understanding for sort of what sellers are facing when they expand into new markets, FBA programs. What does it mean from a tax point of view is, is sort of where we come into our, our prime zone. Great. And today we ask you to come here to explain a little bit more in depth. What are you exactly doing for Amazon sellers and how can you help them? So I know you have a presentation for us as well. So let's go into that. Okay. So thank you for, uh, for allowing us to go through the presentation um, so ultimately, with regards to, uh, to who have asked, well, as I've mentioned, we're assisting uh, thousands of e-commerce sellers that are looking to expand their business to various marketplaces. Um, as the list demonstrates here, we provide an accounting, VAT compliance and tax for e-commerce sellers that are, are looking to diversify their income streams and, and territories. Um, we are wanting to offer a market leading approach, so very high level consultancy um, and the way we do that is by having like a dedicated tax advisor for each of, uh, of our sellers that are with us so that they have that handheld approach and real peace of mind that they know that their VAT compliance um, is handled effectively and precisely. Um, in terms of the, um, of the mission really of the company, it's really to minimise sellers' tax burdens and to allow them to focus on the end result, uh, which of course is expanding their business in, in one way or the other. Um, so really taking the, the weight of the shoulders um, with regards to that tax compliance and, of course, the ever-changing environments that are going on, especially um, as 2021 approaches. There are some huge changes that will really affect how sellers operate, especially from UK to EU and vice versa. Um, and really the goal is to, to be the, the global leader um, in terms of sort of providing that very high level consultancy, business planning um, and allowing sellers to expand to new marketplaces in a hassle free and confident way. Um, so that's that's who we are. OK, so um, where are we based? What do we do? You know, who are we servicing? Um, as I said, we, we assist thousands of, of e-commerce sellers um, across 50 different countries. Um, so because we service so many people and so many different sellers, um, we've got a whole network of offices based worldwide. Um, so as you can see, we're office in the UK, which is our head office, which is where I work at. Um, and then we've got uh, all, all of the EU offices. Um, so again, they're dealing with the tax offices, customs offices on, on a daily basis. Uh, it's got great rapport with, with all of those uh, networks. And then we've got China, UAE, uh, three offices in China, actually, UAE, Australia, and also the USA as well. So there are core offices, um, and we offer services in all of those countries shown there. And of course, when you're dealing with sellers based all over the world, we have to speak 
a lot of languages. Uh, I only speak English, but luckily the team speak over 20 languages across the board. So wherever you are listening from, um, if you prefer to, to, to speak to us in, in whatever language it is, I'm sure we'll be able to assist. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got a, a long-standing relationship with Amazon and um, we've been part of the Global Selling Programme for, for many years now and uh, have uh, done and a lot of promotions, including sort of the brokerage solution that's uh, fairly new, uh, as well as um, sort of general uh, ad hoc promotions, things like the Pan-EU promotion and, and uh, Sweden, chemical tax and VAT registration and a whole host of others as well. Um, we're on the SPM, the Amazon SPM portal, so the, the service providers network. So you'll be able to find us on there if you're looking for us or, or just search us on, on a VASC. Um, and another real key benefit is over the years that we've that we've been operating, which is over uh, eight years now, um, we've built a, a real solid foundation of partners um, through from shipping to payments to translations and, and many other sort of mastermind groups and, and other services as well. So um, we want to point sellers in the right direction at all times. Um, so we have a, a great partnership network that we can put you in touch with. So any seller that's coming to us, we want to we want to really connect with the, the best provider out there. Um, to make sure that they're able to take you from A to B, to make sure that your business expansion is as successful um, and as quickly as possible. Okay, so why actually choose a VASC? Well, there's a number of things that make us different um, to, our, to our competition. Um, but in terms of sort of the key one, it's um, that we offer a sort of a dedicated and qualified tax advisor for the entire registration and compliance journey, which is absolutely essential. Um, when you're dealing with that VAT registration, it can take many months to register. Um, so don't think that you're going to get a VAT number tomorrow. You might be waiting two, three months for the likes of Germany and France. Um, so bear that in mind as you're looking to expand. Um, and know that the, the registration process does take time. There's a lot of documentation required, but it's made much easier when the person on the end of the phone is telling you what to do, where to sign, what the requirements are, how to send it. Some of them need to be sent with blue ink, okay? So don't think that it's a really easy process. It's uh, got to be well thought out and um, you know, it's much easier to have someone on hand to do that with you. And of course, when your VAT number's live, you'll have to file VAT on a monthly or quarterly basis, depending on the country. Um, so in these cases, um, your compliance officer, who'll be a sort of qualified tax expert, will be able to be on hand to deal with all the countries that you're registered with us for and really give you that handheld approach and peace of mind that, that your compliance and taxes are being held uh, properly and accountably for, from ourselves. So that's the main difference. I mean, across the board, we provide a very high level service. There's no hidden fees. Um, we've got a, a great resource called the Global Expanders for our, our own um, sellers, which is uh, an online resource um, where we ho host uh, a whole series of webinars on a bi-weekly basis podcasts, campaign, different campaigns that we've got, newsletters, and just industry updates generally. So that whole element of those changes that are coming into place, you know, our job is to keep you well informed and to make sure that your business is uh, operating and, and running as smoothly as possible for uh, any change that goes on in any country that you're registered in. So of our services, um, I mean, ultimately we have, um, I'd like to think sort of two main sides to the business. We've got the, the UK accounting side and the US accounting. So for services such as that sort of accountancy and monthly bookkeeping services. Then we obviously handle all of the VAT registration and quarterly filing, depending on whether that's UK, US, whatever it might be, whether it's sales tax or VAT. And then we deal with all of the annual statutory accounts, corporation tax returns. Uh, we can do payroll, uh, distant sales, all those things that come under that accounting. And that's for a UK company, okay? So if you're based in the UK, and you need an accountant, we're able to do that, as well as in the US as well, we're able to deal with the sort of the CPA services there as well. We've got a US office. Um, and there's a whole host of other services that aren't included on this page, but um, that's more for the UK or US companies. And then we've got our EU VAT services, which I would say is sort of the, the other side of the company. Um, so basically VAT services, sales tax services, GST, whatever it might be. Um, and we can obviously handle all of the VAT registration and filing services. Uh, we can handle all of the EC sales and just that. So, you know, B2B transaction, movement of goods, um, and you again have a dedicated tax advisor. Um, any investigations, there I say, if you do have an investigation, then we're able to deal with that as well. 
other services. So what does that look like? Well, we've mentioned the US, uh, Australia as well is another core area where sellers are looking to expand. What's great about Australia is that you have that um, the, you know, the reverse season. So a lot of people that are selling well in the summer in the UK, they've got stock left over. Why not sell in Australia? Um, so a lot of people see that as a, a great um, marketplace to sell in if they've got additional stock and it's seasonal, um, but obviously a very quickly growing market anyway. Uh, Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Japan, UAE, other markets that we deal with. And of course, Japan, um, and uh, we're also extending our, our services uh, on a weekly basis, really, um, with the likes of, um, well, we now offer services in Sweden, uh, the Netherlands, obviously new, two new marketplaces in the EU. As I mentioned before, patents and trademarks and general business advisory services are also um, sort of fairly standard. Patents and trademarks, IP, we're able to, um, to, to deal with, uh, with the requirements there. So if you were to sign up with us today and appoint us as your sort of representative, um, what would that look like? Well, someone in the business development team would be contacting you um, through various channels, so whatever would be more favorable to yourself. Um, we would be able to understand your situation. We'd be able to really put a plan in place as to how you expand to the market that you're looking to expand and hopefully point you in the right direction of some other partners that you may need to speak to, whether that's shipping, payments, translations. Um, and then we'll be able to um, you know, make sure that you're comfortable by moving forward and understand the implications of doing so. And then we'll be requesting the documentation. We'll be introducing you to an administrator, which will be in your local language based here in the UK. Um, they'll be requesting the documents and really guiding you through that process step by step. Once the VAT is live, the VAT number, which is obviously what you want, you will then be connected with a compliance officer, which is that tax expert that's taking you through that journey of that monthly quarterly filing, depending on you know, the thresholds, depending on the countries that you're registered in, and obviously having that ongoing support. Um, what does that look like from a um, sort of general flow? You've got the business development officer, okay? So that's the, the, the team that, um, that I'm most involved in, that sort of front end, um, business with regards to the first contact, understanding the seller's requirements. Then you go to the administrator there in the middle, so the collection, collection of the documents. Then you go to your tax advisor for the ongoing support. Okay, so that's how the flow works. Um, our software for VAT compliance. So um, we developed a, a bespoke software, um, which will uh, actually extrapolate the, the data from your seller centrals or from your marketplaces. And we'll be able to then calculate the VAT returns accordingly. Again, we don't just rely on a software. Um, we do have that physical person that's looking after your business. Uh, but of course, off the back of it, we've got the precise data. Uh, we've got the accurate and timely VAT filings. And of course, the support to back it all up with your dedicated advisor. Um, so other support. So Vask is developing a client portal, which is um, due to be released very, very soon, which uh, basically allows a, a single dashboard for you to be able to see everything that's going on with your VAT and, and processing payments and so on. Uh, it's going to be a lot more automated process um, and it's going to make things much faster, including like payments, direct tax offices, uh, communicating with your Vask advisor. And there's also going to be some other uh, great bolt-ons or additions to that as well, which is going to help you operate your business much smoother uh, and more efficiently. That's a general analysis on the company. Um, so as I said, my name's Tom. Uh, I manage the business development team. So feel free to uh, drop me an email on my email at tom.meek.avarsgroup.com. Uh, our phone number's there, the website's there. So hopefully you've got enough ways of contacting us. And obviously I hope to, uh, to speak with you soon. Great. Thank you so much for introducing what you do and also how your company helps Amazon sellers. So uh, on your slide, I read that you're a member of Amazon Global Selling Program. So can you please explain what does it mean? The Amazon Global Selling, did you say, sorry? Yeah. 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 So I mean, obviously Amazon have a number of different initiatives and teams going on. But the, the Global Selling team um, are obviously all about expanding sellers from one marketplace to another. So um, working alongside the global selling team means that we're obviously assisting sellers to expand and achieve their ob objectives by helping them with their VAT and, uh, VAT and compliance elements. So really just part of that element of Amazon, um, which is uh, obviously really about expanding globally. 
Okay. And did I understand correctly that you are actively involved in Amazon, let's say mastermind groups and Amazon industry, like what's going on? How do you feel? How does that help you to help Amazon sellers better? Like, are there competitors in your space who are not so actively involved with Amazon sellers and, and the things yeah. we are doing on a daily basis? Uh, is that your advantage uh, with working with Amazon sellers? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a really important point because um, the, 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 those companies out there, um, all, all very good in their own rights, um, and uh, every service is different. Um, where we're a very high level of consultancy and we really spend time with sellers to understand their individual situations, it find, we find ourselves on the ground a lot. We, we understand what the complications are. We're dealing with you know, thousands of sellers on, on a daily basis, You know, not just with their VAT returns, but understanding the complications that why they're shut down, you know, why uh, we, we understand the frustrations of what sellers go through, basically. We're, we're trying to resolve issues. Uh, we're trying to get people in the best selling position, preparing them for Brexit, um, helping them to analyze sort of communication that comes out from Amazon. You know, you need the 22F for Germany. What does that mean to you? So I think it's really important that um, you have a, a provider that's on hand to understand what's going on within your marketplace. Um, so having um, the, the feed, uh, also, our relationship, as you know, with the Global Selling Programme, we've been working with them for seven years. You know, we're speaking to account managers and account executives uh, daily, um, really to get updates and uh, liaise with different projects that are going on. So, yeah, there's definitely benefits of um, of having that relationship and uh, to understand what the requirements are. Uh, and that goes for other marketplaces as well. Okay. And perhaps do you have any advice to give to sellers who are currently searching for a partner for, uh, let's say, for registering VAT or doing the monthly or quarterly fillings? Like, what are the questions they should ask from the companies they're contacting in order to really understand if that would be a perfect match for them? Yeah, of course. I think um, that there's a service out there for everyone. Um, we like to think of ourselves as a, a premium service, um, but well, well um, costed in terms of like how, where we are and set with our competition. There's softwares out there if you're looking for a very cheap solution that are much cheaper than ourselves. Um, we, we're aware of that. Uh, we, we don't, we're not trying to compete with that, that sort of service. We want to provide a very high level of consultancy. And, and I think with the changes in 2021, it's absolutely imperative that the sellers have that uh, element of control um, and um, make sure that they have a dedicated tax advisor that's on hand to help them. Um, in terms of sort of how you work out what that looks like, shop around, speak to three or four providers, get a feel for what they know. I think your, you know, the initial consultation is really important. Um, and the feedback that you get from, from the provider, the amount that they care, the amount that they know, really is sort of the kickoff as to how well they're going to look after you from after you sign the contract. Um, so that element of care, attention, understanding, um, and not just one one shoe fits everyone. It's it's just one of those one of those situations that you really want to dig a bit deeper. Um, and I would say that you know if you look at the price difference between the softwares and you know someone like us, it's not actually a massive difference for the for the mess that you can get yourselves in, or for the understanding or the the, the registration you can get wrong, or you know the filings that you're late for just one one little thing that goes wrong can amount to that difference so why put yourself in the situation in the first place um so i'd just say whatever works for you um if you're a startup and you're you know really worried about cash flow capital then you know we have payment plans available um but you know always open to um to discussing your service your service needs and uh, we can then plan from there Okay, I think that's really good and something to consider for starting Amazon sales, but as well for experienced ones. So uh, today we weren't able to go uh, deeply into different topics uh, such as VAT and trademarks, etc. But I wanted to ask, like we often talk about that registration, but we don't talk too much about monthly and quarterly fillings. Can you give us a little bit of background? What does it mean that sellers have to do monthly or quarterly fillings? What's the process exactly and why it's necessary to do that? Yeah, of course. So, I mean... If you've already started selling in the past and you need to catch up and you need to like retrospectively file, then if you've already done it and you should have been filing, then what we can do is go back and work out what the liability is and make sure that we bring you up to speed. So that's the first thing. But when we look, just sort of look generally at what what is the, the filing requirements and you know what, what's monthly, what's quarterly, well, each country has a different uh, filing period. So the majority are monthly. So looking at sort of the, the Germany, France's, they're all filed on a monthly basis. So by a certain date, 
let's say, for example, hypothetically the 19th of the following month, you'll then need to file that return for X country. Okay, so um, through a period, if it's a monthly filing, so in, in January, I've made this number of sales, well, actually 19% VAT is incorporated within that price. So I need to pull that 19%, which is what the Avask advisor would say, well, this is what's due to you, due to the, to the, the, um, the um, office uh, or the authorities rather. So you need to make a payment for this amount to that tax office by this date, okay? And that can either be a quarterly period every three months, or it can be on a monthly basis, obviously every one month. So that's, that's how it works. And what happens when sellers delay paying that fee or let's say they just simply ignore it? <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, um, it's not great when they do because uh, the, the um, tax office can issue penalties. Um, if it becomes worse, then you know, there's a lot of communication that will actually be even stricter as come January 2021, where uh, marketplaces are going to have an even tighter connection with the tax authorities with regards to mispayments or you know, non-compliance. So yeah, penalties, account suspension, all those sorts of things, things that you just don't want even to, to think about. <laughs> so all things sellers really have to and want to avoid. <laughs> Absolutely, it's yeah, VAT accounts um, and just general compliance is never gonna be one of those things that people are jumping up and down to do. I will stress that a lot of sellers leave it late and they think, oh, I'll sort that out next week, I'll sort that out next year. And then, you know, every week that goes past, you're incurring more and more fees, more and more costs, more and more penalties, potentially. So get it right from day one. The restrictions are only tightening. The compliance requirements are tightening. Marketplaces are becoming more and more strict because they're getting more and more liability um, from, you know, tightening jurisdictions, tightening, you know, compliance requirements. So just get it right from day one. Speak to an advisor um, and factor that into your, your margins and make sure that, that you're able to sell compliant. So we should be happy to have you around. So if any of our viewers has any questions or want to make sure everything is compliant in their business, uh, what's the best way to reach out to you? And uh, once more, how do you usually help Amazon sellers? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, reach out to myself. It's uh, tom.meek at avaskgroup.com. Uh, inquire for our website, obviously, Avask Group um, on, on, on the Google or whatever search engine you're using. Um, and um, yeah, in terms of assisting, you know, anything to do with general compliance when expanding to new markets, UK, EU, uh, USA, Australia, the UAE, the list goes on. Um, we're able to assist in, in pretty much the majority of, of all marketplaces and, and countries that, that they're facilitating. Um, and even if you've got some questions, we're happy to help use the resources that are available to you. Book a call with myself or one of my colleagues and we'll be able to put that strategy in place, uh, especially with Brexit and the 2021 changes that are coming into place. It's absolutely imperative that, that you get it right from day one. Otherwise, you'll find yourself putting all the hard work in to one, get suspended, two, get penalties, or three, just not make it worth your trading. So yeah, get it right from day one. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming here and see you next time. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Speak soon. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you would like to learn more about Avask company, check the links below, contact them if you need help with taxes or uh, anything else they cover. And now I would like to invite you to uh, watch this playlist with the videos we collected uh, for you, which cover more topics related to Amazon marketplaces in European countries. Enjoy and make profits in European marketplaces. Bye bye.